everyone, welcome back for another figure opening video today. Today, I am really, really excited because we are finally, finally opening up our Hatsune Miku Princess AMP figure, Alice version. This was a figure I got in the round one near my house, and I showed you all in a small short before that we won it, but I hadn't got around to opening it. So today, let's take a look. And first of all, let's kick things off by taking a look at the box. So as you can see, we have our Hatsune Miku logo here in the top left corner. We have our artist masterpiece logo there in the top right. They do a lot of fantastic figures, which is why I have such high hopes for this one. And then down here, very simply, we have Hatsune Miku Princess AMP figure Alice version. And here she is on the front. And what I love most about this front is this really, really nice photograph with this beautiful background. That's just so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. On the side, we have a few kind of pictures of the figure itself. So we have a front image. We have a back image so you can see what you're going to get. That's cool because a lot of figures don't do that. <laughs> so it's nice to know what you're investing in. On the other side, we have a little bit more detail about, for example, like who the illustrator is and who the photographer is and like who the finisher, all that lot. Again, with our artist masterpiece there. So that's all down there. Again, really, really nice picture here. I just love that layout too. Sorry, that's just really, really nice. And then on the other side, we have some beautiful, beautiful art. And I'm trying to remember because I checked a second ago, but I believe the artist is someone called Teshima Nari. Uh, I'll, that, I'll show you in a second. This is stunning. Just look at that. Isn't that amazing? What cool art. All right, let me confirm that the name is correct. Oh, around the wrong way. <laughs> Let's do this around the right way. Uh, this is all the safety information that we're used to. And down here, it says art by Teshima Nari or Tejima. I'm pretty sure it's Teshima Nari. So yeah, do go check out their Twitter. I will put a link below so you can go check them out. Oh, my cat's meowing at me too. <laughs> But anyway, that is all of the safety information. On the top, we have Jaya Prize. We also have Taito. And we have Hatsune Miku Princess Alice with our artist masterpiece there. All right, I'm going to put this down and go check on my cat. So one second. Whoa. You're a noisy girl, aren't you? Whoa. I'm trying to feel cool. Okay, in with our knife. Yeah, sorry about that. My cat's been meowing quite a bit this morning. She knows that I'm filming and she just wants attention. She wants hugs and cuddles. So, uh, yeah, that's why she was meowing. <laughs> she seems kind of content right now, but that might change soon. All right, let's have a look. See, what do we got? Oh, wow, more plastic. Oh, wow. What has happened here? Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, my. Okay. Wow, this looks like it's actually a really big figure. Holy jeez. Okay. Um, all right. I've got quite a bit of unpacking to do. So give me one sec. Okay. Stand. And here's our stand. And my first observation, this thing is huge. This is massive. I haven't seen a stand this big in ages. I mean, just look at that. It's crazy. Um, what is cool? It's a see-through yellow plastic. Hello. And all, even cooler is it's a clock. So we can see that there's a second hand, an hour hand, a minute hand. That's really, really nice. Just representing time and I guess representing the Alice motif. Two holes there for her feet to go into. And then also, hopefully you can see there, it says the art by Teshima Nari. Again, do go check them out. So I will put that link again below. And then we have Christian Food Meeting and all that lot. The edge of this is curved, so it's not a just a sharp corner design, so interesting too. And yeah, very cool stand. So let's put it down. Yeah, it's huge, it's huge. And then here we have the broken Miku herself. <laughs> and she's not broken, she's just split apart like this. You can see that inside there, there's a big open hole, there's a big sticky outy point there. So what happens is we do some magic where we put them together, we push really, really hard, Really, really hard. Wow, that made a beautiful click. I hope that sound came on the uh, microphone. And here is our Miku. Almost, because there, of course, are more pieces. We have to put in her hair. And you can see her hair has unique shapes for each point. So this one is more of like a thumbs up shape. I believe that goes into this point. So we're gonna put that in like so. And hopefully this will just make a nice squeeze. Oh, no, slide in nice. Oh, actually, that sticks really well. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, and then this one over here is our T Tetris block point. So you can see like so. 
So we will slide that in. Very awkwardly. One second. Okay. Sorry, that was a bit more finicky. <laughs> oh my god, you're adorable. Look at you. Oh, okay. This is going to be an awesome, awesome opening. All right. Let's kick things off by taking a look at her face. So as we can see, she has these adorable... Adorable, adorable eyes. These are very, very pretty. We can see there's a bit of blush on her cheeks. Her nose sticks out a bit and she has this wonderful smile. However, there is that little weird dent there in her teeth. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to say that that is a fault. So, <laughs> not so good. Oh, bad start, Miku. Bad start. Her hair, though, is lovely. Her hair has this nice kind of like matted uh, paint job to it, which is cool. It comes down with a lot of very, very spiky points, so please do be careful. There's also a few kind of squiggly bits coming off of the edges here. These are a little clearer, it's kind of more frosted kind of plastic. Very, very nice. And her ears are adorable. I don't know what it is, but her ears are just super, super cute. They stick out a little bit. That's very, very cute design. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> And she does have this headband on too with these two points sticking off the top. This looks really nice as well. And what that does is it separates the front bit of her hair from the back. So that's also really cool. While we're on the head, we can also see that she's wearing a beautiful crown. This is a really, really nice crown. And it adds to that really cool princess motif that they're going for here. Very nice amount of detail there. And I believe it's hollow. So there you go. We can see inside. So that's pretty much her head. We do have this amazing hair that comes down. It twists and twists and turns and comes down into this really nice kind of more frosted, clearer plastic at the bottom. That's just beautiful, beautiful. And you can see the same thing here at the back here. There's a few twists too. It's the exact same on the other side of her head where we have these really nice twists. These are really, really cool and very pretty. So yeah, lovely, lovely hair. Oh, so far, Artist Masterpiece, you've done a fantastic job. All right, that's the head. Let's start judging the body. Okay, with her body, let's start at the top and work our way down. First off, she's got this really nice cool collar. There's a couple of bows there. This is actually separate from the dress, so that's like a really nice kind of little thing. We can also see too that she has this really nice textured underneath kind of shirt with buttons. Uh, again, really, really well thought out design. And then on top of that, she has this really nice kind of blue jacket. And the blue jacket has a few ruffles on the shoulders down there. Her not collar her cuffs go all the way up to her elbows it's a little bit puffy here on the edges so that's pretty cool she has very nice long arms it's a little bit shiny but anyway not the worst thing in the world and she's wearing black gloves and these are really really cool her hand is actually quite nicely designed i think they should do more of this like wearing gloves like these that way you don't have to design fingers and it just looks really cool there's a bow on the edge there it's the same over here where this hand is a little bit more kind of like like this position and she was as a bow there too. So that's really cool. Going a bit further down the dress, we can see there's a gold button in the middle with this nice black bow in the middle. So that's also cool as well. And then we can also see that her white shirt has opened and split here. We can tell it's the same shirt because the buttons also match down here on the edge. And we'll look at this in a second. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. We'll come to that. So that's there. And then also there's this really nice kind of under textured layer with this black kind of like ruffled, not ruffled kind of, I don't know, what would you say? Like that split kind of all the way around the outside goes all the way around the back too. I must say, <gasps> there's a star little button. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, I haven't looked from it from behind yet. But then underneath this, there's also another layer where we have this blue dress. So this is complementing this top piece up here with, here we go. We have a nice white kind of ruffled texture on the outside. Really, really pretty. And this goes all the way around the outside. All of these little kick-ups are unique, very, very pretty, very, very nice. But something that's actually super interesting is on the back piece too, there is this one black bit that's sticking out. I'm not quite sure what would you what you would call this, but it's kind of not hollow, but it's just like a mini underskirt cape. I don't know. Is it to protect people from looking at her pants? Nothing's gonna protect us from looking at her pants, trust me. <laughs> And we'll come to that later too. But yeah, this is a really, really interesting design. Yeah. Now, I will come back to this because I wanted to just take a moment to look at this. These chains are kind of okay on this clock. These chains holding like her dress together. But this is a really, really cool addition. It just adds that really nice Alice motif. If this wasn't here, I don't think I would call this an Alice figure. <laughs> so yeah, really, really nice. And it moves quite a bit. So that's also really interesting too. 
I don't know why it's 6 o'clock, but there we go. It's not 6 o'clock here. It's actually almost 12 p.m. And there we go. So that is the top half of her body. Now we also have her legs. Her legs are just white tights. They come down straight as... And only one of the feet has pointy sticky outy bits to go into the stand. So we'll come and take a look at when we put it in in a second. But we can see that these boots are quite nice. These nice high heels. They have a good strap over the foot. There's also a bow on the back. It's probably a little easier if I put it this way. You can see the two bows from behind like so. And there they are. So cool. So that's pretty much our Alice Miku. A beautiful, beautiful figure. Really, really pretty. And I do want to give you a pants shot and I'm not going to put a warning this time because there aren't really pants but let's take a look anyway. You can see up there it's just her tights. They're just white tights that go all the way up. Annoyingly there is a black smudge there in the middle so that's kind of upsetting. There's actually a black smudge here too on the leg just underneath. I'm hoping we can see that. But yeah there's not really too much up there. It's just yeah <laughs> it's just there. Yeah. But what is cool is if, I don't know if the camera will show us. Hopefully we can. You can see that her body, like her skin tone, is also up the top too. So it makes me think that they've designed the whole body underneath and then just layered the clothes on top. That would be really cool if they did. But uh, anyway, that is our Alice Miku. Now we need to get her in her stand. So here we go. Okay, and here she is in the stand. And I'm going to be a bit worried about this figure because it's only being held by one foot. So probably we'll have to do an update to see if she's lent or not. Which makes me think, I need to do that for quite a few figures. Anyway, this is beautiful and I really, really want to give you all a few pretty shots. So, let's take a look. Okay, let's go put you on the shelf. Here we go. So yeah, this is a really, really pretty figure. And my cat is over there. She's just gonna run past it. <laughs> but yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful Alice figure. This is really, really pretty. Alice figure? Miku figure. God, Alice in Miku style, or Miku in Alice style. I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Anyway, if you liked today's video, please do give us a like and please subscribe because we have a lot of figures that I really want to open. So, love you all and bye!